line. Uh, another big story be besides this today happens to be the weather yeah, we had some and the threat storms. of severe weather. Yeah, we had some storms earlier today. And the threat's still out there, David. That's right, guys. Uh, we did. We had some big storms just north of the Oklahoma City area up in northern Oklahoma. Jim Gardner was up. He's had a long day, folks, tracking severe weather, blowing dust 50 to 60 miles per hour from Jim Gardner in Bob Mill Sky News HD. And uh, Jim's chopper, it is fast. Boy, I tell you what, he can zoom from here to there in no time flat. Look at the hail core here. Look at the rain falling. And uh, these were mainly just wind and hail producers. They went up in the heating of the day. And then as we started to cool off just a bit, they started to weaken. Val Castor out today as well with Amy Castor along with Bobby Payne tracking these severe storms. Guess what? We will do it again tomorrow. All right, so more on that coming up. All right, let's go back to earlier today. Thunderstorms taking off mid-afternoon. They took off hard and fast. They were moving basically east. They went up. They lasted about an hour. All right, that was about it as far as the real strong storms. And then they began to weaken. And folks, next year live, it is quiet for now, but guess what's coming? Here comes tomorrow's wave, the beginning of tonight and tomorrow's wave now in southwest Kansas. That is headed towards first northwestern Oklahoma. Here's your timeline looking at, uh, oh, we're talking about Freedom at about 1.40 in the morning. Buffalo, by the way, at about midnight, or excuse me, 1 o'clock in the morning. Alva at about 2 o'clock in the morning. Cherokee, 2.32. And this is a piece of energy that's going to move through Oklahoma late tonight tomorrow morning and throughout the day tomorrow. With that, we're going to be unstable. The jet stream will be a little stronger. So the storms tomorrow, I think, will be a little bit stronger as well. 77 degrees in Oklahoma City with a south wind at 11. Our humidity at 71 percent. It's, yeah, it's thick. It's muggy out there. Temperatures in the 70s, really statewide, even, gosh, at 80 right now in Tulsa, 79 in Altus and 74 in Ponca City. Lows tonight in the upper 60s and low 70s with a light south breeze, nothing too strong. Now, overnight tonight, here it is, pretty good chance of rain and some thunderstorms coming into northern Oklahoma. Not really talking about severe weather, but we still could have some wind and some hail. And again, we're talking about quite a bit of lightning and thunder. So Alva, Woodward, over to Enid. This will be pressing in overnight tonight. What about tomorrow morning? A better chance of rain and thunderstorms holding together, pushing to the south throughout your morning hours. That includes Oklahoma City right now. We'll keep that chance of rain and thunder tomorrow morning pretty high. The question is, how long does this hang around in the morning? If this hangs around too long, that will give us less severe weather for the afternoon. But I think that moves out midday. We begin to heat things back up. We'll shoot for a 90 here in Oklahoma City, low 90s in the west. And then for the afternoon, I think what's going to happen is we'll have a better chance for storms developing to the west of Oklahoma City, spreading south. Still a 40% chance for storms in the metro tomorrow afternoon. Some of these are going to be strong. Some of these are going to be severe in the yellow. The main threat, large hail. We could see up to the size of tennis ball size hail. I think that would be mainly to the west of Oklahoma City. But either way, one or two of those storms could get quite large. Gusts of 70 miles per hour with a very low tornado risk. So here's my tornado zone tomorrow. It's a priority four or a very low risk of a tornado from northwestern into central and southern Oklahoma after about 3 o'clock. My hail zone, the largest hail. Again, not every storm is going to produce large hail, but we could see up to golf ball size hail in the orange. That includes Oklahoma City. Might just have one storm in the metro at all. And my wind zone, strongest winds will be out west, but even here in the metro could see winds to 65 miles per hour. 90 forecast. Well, we're going to shoot for 90 tomorrow. If the clouds and rain hang in longer, we will not make 90, but low 90s in here for your Memorial Day weekend. It looks good. It looks dry. Slight chance for a thunderstorm in the middle of next week on Wednesday and the highs next week warming into the mid 90s. Wow. So yeah, looking a little bit like June. I'd say so. And uh, tomorrow, mainly wind and hail, but uh, we'll be here and we'll be running again and again. No, you will. Yeah. David, thank